Hello all, good morning, good evening or good afternoon based on wherever you are. In today's video we'll discuss about installation of SQL Server Management Studio and let's, let's understand why we need it to start with. So on this machine right now that I have, I have Business Central 14 and Business Central 16 installed as a demo installation which also installed the SQL Server by default which is an express version. But if I want to take the backup of my database, I have no option to access SQL Server because the only place that I can see SQL Server is here which shows me the configuration where I can see uh, what services are installed, what is my server instance name but then it limits me to do other stuff that I can do on a SQL Server environment. So to all do all those stuffs like creating indexes or running a SQL query or uh, taking a backup of the database or restoring a new database, we'll need the SQL Server Management Studio. So SQL Server Management Studio is available on Microsoft website. You can always search for download SQL Server Management Studio and download the latest and greatest version of SQL Server Management Studio. SQL Server Management Studio is not dependent on your SQL Server version. You can have a different version of Management Studio and a different version of SQL Server per se. And this will just give you the GUI interface to access the commands and the options on SQL Server. So as you can see SSMS is free, it's a free software which you can download and then it gives you flexibility to open up SQL Server. So you can just click on this, it'll download an EXE just to save time, I've already downloaded it. So let's stall it and let's see what happens. Let's run it as administrator and it'll pop up the screen where it is and this is if you see is Management Studio 18. So let's stall it. So right now installing those component. So if you are a developer who is using Docker's where the Docker also creates SQL Server for you behind the scene based on the what comes with the product DVD that uh, you have installed. Either it's NAV 2013, 2009 or Business Central on-prem. You always get a SQL Server Express version with a product. While it is stalling, let's understand what the express version means. Uh, the express version is a free version again from Microsoft that you get with the product DVD or you can download it separately and then install it. Express version have comes up with one major limitation of, from a developer perspective which is that the limit of the databases that you can create is based on the cumulative size of database of all the database in one SQL Server instance should not be more than 10 gigs. That's the uh, limitation that I, th I think will impact most of the developer who are working on Dynamics Nav or Business Central. And But yes, there are other options where you can pay and get other versions of SQL Server. And the paid version also comes with by default with Management Studio so you don't have to do it on, on an actual environment. You'll be doing the SQL Server Management install, Studio installation into a environment which is your own development environment. So let's wait for it and to see when it gets installed. So as you can see uh, the SQL Server Management Studio installation is completed. Now it requires system to be restarted. So I'll, I'll pause the video and we'll rest, uh, restart the video as soon as this computer is restarted. So the server is restarted. Let's see what component got installed and you'll see an option called Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio ID. Let's click on it and it'll allow me now to access the GUI interface for SQL Server. Or the, all the instances that I have installed on my system. So once you log in, you can choose the server that you want to connect, uh, type of authentication that you have set up during installation, and click on connect. 
you can see your databases if so now you are more or less available to do all the actions like making database removing the databases backups restores or if you have a query or if you want to see what data is stored in a table or you know create your indexes or views so uh, that's all for this video uh, the idea behind this video was to uh, help people who get stuck when when they set up their own demo environment with installation of dynamic snap or business center and they cannot access SQL server so by installing this uh, free utility from Microsoft which is called management studio you can get access to your SQL server environment and uh, do things easily as you would be doing uh, uh, via a query otherwise so hope you like this video please put your comments into this video if you want me to record a video on certain specific topic of dynamic snap or business central please put it on comments i'll try to come up with that video as soon as possible so have a great day thank you